Hi, I'm Cliff Hall, and today, in five minutes or less, I'm going to give you an overview of FutureScale's Zarkon Active License Control System for Adobe Flex and Air. So let's get started. First, we'll define a product, and that product will be the Adobe Air demo on our website. We'll give it an ID, and that ID will be prepended to the license key for each license that we issue for this product. And we'll define a few features here. We'll omit the descriptions for the sake of brevity. We'll see them in the running demo, though. We'll define some feature sets to group those features by. Okay, and so now we can associate features with feature sets. So let's give ourselves a little more turf here, and we will add the appropriate features to each feature set. And that's it. We'll save the product. And now we're ready to issue a license. So we'll hop over to the licensing screen. We'll add a license holder. and a license for our Zarkon Air demo. Now if this were a Flex application, we could make this a site license and tie it to a specific website, but it's not. This is an Air application running on the desktop, so we're tying it to a specific user. And we'll enable a feature set, and we're done. Now we're going to save that uh, license holder and uh, their licenses. And now we can send them email about it. Now, Zarkon can uh, be configured to use your SMTP server, or it can use the desktop email client that's configured, uh, which we'll do here. And you can see that email will contain all the information that the license holder needs to put into your application uh, in order to uh, enable it. And uh, So, what happens now? The license holder receives your email and runs your application and puts your license, puts the license information into it as you ask them. And uh, your, uh, in a case of a desktop application, uh, we will go out and we'll fetch the encrypted license uh, from your licenses bucket, and we'll use the uh, the license holder information to create an encryption key, uh, which is used to decrypt that license. Uh, the license key alone uh, is worthless uh, without all of the license holder information. And so, once that license is decrypted, uh, then it will be uh, available to your application to inspect and uh, figure out how it should uh, behave. Uh, in this case, we see that we have found that the license was valid, and we can inspect the details of the license and see the uh, feature set and features that are enabled there. Uh, have a quick look at the code here. Uh, we can see it's pretty easy business. Uh, we need your issuer key in order to find your license bucket. Uh, and uh, we create a new license holder object uh, with the license holder information. Uh, you'll collect this from the user and store it in the Air ELS. Uh, and you will have their license key and you pass this information to the license manager and uh, the license manager will then validate the license uh, and it will come back valid or invalid and uh, your, your application can proceed uh, accordingly. Uh, if the license is valid, it will have uh, a, va a license object uh, that has all of the information about your features uh, and so forth and whether it's expired or disabled. It can proceed accordingly.